Morning Engine fans, this is Roger Walco, VP of Comms here at Engine, uh, reporting to you from beautiful Austin, Texas, where I now live. So uh, lots and lots of game developers here, and Los Angeles as well, where I visit uh, frequently. So this year's videos are all going to be focused on game developers, pro game developers. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So as a young as a young designer, I was often very altruistic. I was very involved in some of the ideas for the earliest, you know, even before EverQuest came out, earliest MMOs and always full of crazy ideas, apps as well when the iPhone came out. And uh, later on in my career, I realized that even the big studios, as well as small studios, it's hard to pay for games to get made. And what's really dampering a lot of creativity is the ability to pay for your projects. And so I became a little bit more focused on correct business models, proper production models, and so on. That's really the heart of a, of a game studio um, that goes along with the yin and yang with the creative side. We need that to function. Additionally, uh, game players want more games. So we need to take care of our developers and keep them around so they can create more content for us. And so my topic for this video, uh, January 2019, is how we can use the blockchain to not only satisfy our players gameplay cravings but also help make our studio a viable place that can create that content so that's what we're going to focus on during part one of this video part two I'm going to focus on sort of the creative side and delivering players what they want there's a whole new level of wish fulfillment with with uh, game players that we aren't fully servicing right now that again using the blockchain we can service very nicely make everybody happy so let's get into it um, First, as we've often talked, uh, for those of you that don't know, games now outgross movie, TV, and music combined. The game industry is vast. Number two, the worldwide economy of tradable, collectible game objects is about $100 billion. $100 billion. Now, I'm going to say that maybe half of that is, is marketplaces and apps and virtual items being sold, if you will. The other half, let's just say for conjecture purposes, is trading. Some of which is done legit in certain products, and some of which is a large gray or black market. Some developers really don't allow this at all, and others do, sort of. And what I was about to say in this video is that that, that whole trading economy, $50 billion US a year, is about a secure, reliable, and well curated as Craigslist. For those of you that aren't in the States, Craigslist is a huge sort of community run trading website. You know, it's great if you if you want to give away a bicycle or, or buy some simple thing. But it's not good for real commerce. And so where has that gone? In in other sectors besides game, that's gone to things like eBay or Amazon, which are well curated. You can readily find what you want and you can make sure, thanks to PayPal or other similar things, that you, the consumer, always get what you want for real and that the person selling the product also doesn't get ripped off as well. And what does PayPal take for that? They take a little bit of percentage, 3% service fee or something that you really don't mind. And so what we're looking at for the game industry using Engine's technology is taking something that's like a lousy Craigslist type model with people buying expensive items, maybe not getting them from pirates. The game developers, i.e. the stores on eBay, are getting ripped off as well. And Engine comes along and we can do with the blockchain something that's kind of like PayPal. We can allow a developer for free to install some tools into their, into their game and make sure that every time a player does a trade or a sale, that it's secure and that they get what they wanted. And also, those studios can bring that gray market or bring that black market into their product, into their game. They can design around it so that players trading items is never going to imbalance the game. Players all want this. They're already doing it. How do we know? Because of this giant marketplace. So we're going to be giving the players what they want and for that we take a little, a little fee, 3%, whatever. And the developer pockets that. The developer keeps that. And I believe as a longtime game designer that that revenue stream is going to be bigger than the marketplace in your free-to-play app. So what do I really think Engine is all about? 
we're making life good for the studios so they can make more content. We don't want to say, hey, players, cut your developer out of it. Cut your publish publisher out of it. You know, they're your items. Uh, screw them. Why? Because that would be great for the players, but then we would have no more content, right? So if you're using a free-to-play game, you know, it's good to support your developer a little bit. And if it's in a way that really doesn't bug you as a player, like, hey, I just made $500 on this item, I don't mind giving a couple bucks to the dev to make, the, make sure that I actually got it. It's just like PayPal. So I think that that is a vast economic force that both small studios and the large studios are going to run with. I think that we're going to see, you know, let's take something huge like, like Fortnite or Warframe, right? Millions, tens of millions of players uh, buying billions of dollars a year of, of skins or other, other items. Well, it's part of... I think what the next generation of gameplay is all about, to be able to, in a proper way that doesn't mess up the game, trade those with friends or sell them, just like you would in real life, right? You know? Um, game players love collecting these kind of things, and so we're going to be giving them that, and I'll talk about more of that in part two. And at the same time, we're going to be let, letting you, the developer, make a living on it, in a way that doesn't bother players. And that, I think, is a real magic trick. Thanks, everyone. We'll be talking to you more soon. Thanks for listening to me. We're going to be doing a lot of these this year, so stay tuned for more developer-centric uh, engine and blockchain videos. Thanks.